is starting to really fog up in there, we'll go ahead and light our smoke bomb. In today's video, we're gonna destroy another dangerous ground hornet yellow jacket nest, and to do that, we're gonna use a smoke bomb. Now it's been quite a year for yellow jackets. I've already posted videos where we killed one using a vacuum trap, ozone gas, and liquid nitrogen. But in this video, we're gonna take a suggestion from a YouTube viewer who says he likes to use these gopher smokers to kill the ground hornets. There's several different brands. This one's called the Gopher Gasser and the Giant Destroyer. Basically, you light the fuse and it makes a toxic gas that will fill the chamber and kill the yellow jackets. Now to make sure that we cannot set the field on fire, I waited for a rainy day. This is the first rainy day in months, and since the grass is wet, it's a great time to kill this nest. I brought my fish tank, we'll set that over there so the gas doesn't escape, and we can kill the yellow jackets as they come out of the hole. So let's light this up and kill the yellow jackets. So you can see the hole right down there, that's where the yellow jacket nest is. It's an old vole hole that they dug out and made a chamber. Ooh, they're starting to get aggressive. It's been raining, so they've hunkered down, but now that it stopped raining, the sun's come out, they're emerging to forage. Now what we're gonna do, oh, I'm getting attacked already, is I'm gonna go put my bee suit on, and I'm gonna put the fish tank over there, the bees will fly out, and I'll light the smoke bomb to kill them. Okay, first I'll trap all the yellow jackets with our fish tank. It's starting to really fog up in there. We'll go ahead and light our smoke bomb. Well, that didn't take long to kill all the yellow jackets. I'll go ahead and pull this back. You can see a huge pile of yellow jackets right there, but they still might be down in the hole. I'm gonna light another one. and I'll cover it up with this log. Right now that's filling the chamber down below so it should kill the whole underground nest. Well, it looked like it did a good job. It filled the chamber with smoke down there. Now we just have to dig it up. Well, I found the main nest chamber. It's a pretty large colony down here. And uh, the workers in there seem to be dead. Look at that carnage. Wow, this is impressive how large this is. I'm gonna dig out the top so I can remove the whole nest without breaking it up. There's the queen right there. Well, that was a massive ground hornet yellow jacket nest. Look at all these layers, and we were able to destroy it using the smoke bombs. There's still quite a few in there moving around, but overall, we got the vast majority of the colony. I think if you did this several times and then covered up the hole, you'd completely destroy the nest. So thanks to the YouTube viewer who sent me this suggestion, I'm going to have to test these out and see if they work on actual moles and gophers. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and occasionally destroy ground hornet yellow jacket nests, stay tuned.